I just purchased my first car off Copart. Guys, this was such an exciting process when I was doing this. Uh, I've cut the clip down here, but I, we went for a couple of rounds of bonus time, probably about 30 seconds of total, and then I managed to secure the bid and win. The seller came back with a counter offer of £2,475, but I stuck to my guns. I kept my current bid of £2,150 and then had to wait three days for them to come back and accept my offer. There you go, guys. Just purchased my first car off Copart. A bit unsure about it all, a bit apprehensive, but um, I do like the VXRs. I've had one, not a Corsa, but Astra years ago. So uh, definitely excited to get my hands on, a, on another VXR. So very nervous, very apprehensive. So hope you guys like the purchase and uh, let's get this one on the road, back again driving and uh, have some fun with it. 2,000 years later. And there she is, just being delivered. See what damage there is, the co-part were telling us. Well, it started, so that's a good start already. We'll take a further look at the damage under there in a minute. So I didn't notice that on the uh, pictures, even though it's circled. We'll let the man unload and we'll have a full debrief in a minute. So guys, just been dropped off by the delivery guy just down the road and uh, we can take our inspection. So um, I saw this on the video, on the photo. Uh, I guess it's this tip XC mark here because I can't see any dents. So it must be just this. We'll obviously get it, get it cleaned, get it all cleaned up and have a look. Uh, the crazy ass marks there on the alloys, so. They're probably gonna need a refurb. Let's keep going round. Nice blacked out VXR. Not sure if I like it. Let's open up. Got a bit of a mark there. Oh, got bits of the bumper in the boot. <laughs> Number plate. Parts of bumper. Uh, what else have we got? Any spare wheel or anything? No, not in there anyway. Nothing in there. Oh, we've got a pump there, so we can pump the tyre up. Lovely. So we've got this looks like standard exhaust system in there. It's very quiet, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was a standard one. I'm not sure whether these look a little bit smoked. Let me know in the comments what you think if they look smoked or not. I'm not sure, they just look a little bit dark. Um, looks like someone's had a go at <laughs> machine polishing this at some point. You can see haze marks, but we can get that out easily enough. And we've got a little bit of a paint repair there. Um, got a little dent there as well. Otherwise, everything looks okay, to be fair. I mean, that wheel's a bit damaged. Out there, they're all damaged. Slightly, nothing too bad. Um, that little dent there, I didn't see on the auction at all. And there's moaned about something here, which I didn't see either. So, let's take a look. I'll lift the bonnet up and then we can take a look. We've got the uh, Team Heco Wind deflectors, which I actually quite like. I got them on my Golf as well. I actually quite like those. I know some people don't. <laughs> so yeah, well I can tell it's got the standard pre-cat on there. It's got an induction kit, which is like a Ram Air. Looks fairly standard. You see it's got the pre-cat on there, so no one's messed around with it. Well, in two now, we, we might change that. <laughs> um, it's got no coolant in it, so that might be an issue. We might have to 
Yeah, there might be a leak somewhere. So that could be a problem that I haven't really factored in. Maybe a new radiator or something. We'll get to the bottom of that. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah, no problems there. Uh, the radiator looks fairly pushed forward on that side. So, maybe the intercooler, you can see how that, I don't know if you can quite see it on camera, but the radiator this side is pushing, you can see it's up against that hose there, the plastic hose. There's a hose there and the plastic thing has been pushed up against it, so we may need some uh, a support for the rad. Cool. Nothing else looks too dramatic under here. The yeah, grill looks in good condition still. Looks like it basically has hit something pretty low. Um, it's probably a better angle for the radiator. It's just sort of pushed in, in here. Um, damage on the inner cooler there, so that might have punctured it, might not, so we might need to replace that. And then just, yeah, it looks like it's a metal bracket. This is probably the same bracket on this side, on the other side. It looks like it's just bent in. So, what we'll end up doing is probably taking all this stuff off and having a look at the crash bar. Looks okay, looks in good condition. So it didn't hit this bit, didn't hit this part of the bumper here. Yeah. It's just hit underneath it, so it's like they've hit a big curb or something. I'm not quite sure, but it seems to start all right. I'd started to get off the trailer. God. Smells like boy racer in there. So 38,000 miles. So low mileage for a 2014 plate. So we've got an engine light. Uh, that could be for any, any reason. It could be low coolant, boost leak or whatever. We've got um, a flashing light for the tire pressure. The tire is flat on the driver's side. And then we've just got seat belt and handbrake. So I don't know what the uh, light is. We're getting plugged in and we'll have a look. But looks like we've just got a basic CD player here. Don't even think it's uh, Bluetooth or anything like that. I don't think they were back in the day. You would have thought for a 2014 plate that it would come with some sort of Bluetooth or you know, aux at least. So let's see, I don't know. And maybe there is one, I'm just doing it disservice. I got consumption stuff just popped up there. Someone was averaging 25 miles to the gallon, that's not a lot. <laughs> Aircon, no idea if that works. Yeah, that's fairly cold, so I won't run the car too long because it's not got no cooling in. So I don't want it to run up the temperature or anything like that. So I'll get the bonnet closed, I'll get that tire pumped up and I'll get it back on my drive and I'll bring you back then. Pump up because if the, if the tire is dead and it's dead, I'll bring it back on when I know. So, guys, got the car back on the driveway. Uh, it made some horrendous noises driving it uh, and just taking a look around. I didn't notice that, obviously, there was nothing on the co part advert around the steering column being loose. So, 
no idea. It's probably on one of the pictures, but you can't see the pictures in the grainy photos they give you. I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I'll drop a picture here to show you what, it, what the front end looked like and the picture they supplied. But all in all, I think a little bit of extra damage with the front uh, radiator support. So we're gonna need to replace the front radiator support and the front bumper. We may need to replace the uh, brad pack as well as the intercooler. But other than that, the only other real issue that I've seen, the interior is actually mint. Um, really clean interior. So whoever's definitely had it has looked after it. It smells a bit like cigarettes in here, um, but it's not too bad. But we've got the, the CD40 USB, which is okay, I suppose. Got USB and AUX. Uh, it's got cruise control. So it's a fairly spec'd out car for this age. Um, the lovely VXR handle there. But the only real issue, and I can tell the interior, is this. I imagine this is very, fairly common on these seats, because it's common on the uh, on the Golf uh, wingbacks as well. So if anyone has any ideas of how to fix this, let me know, drop a comment down below. I'd be much appreciated, but that's a problem I'm gonna have to tackle. But all in all guys, I think uh, there was no real hidden surprises. I wasn't sure what was gonna be under the bumper anyway, so I'm not really too shocked by that, but windscreen looks good. There's no issues there. All the windows look good. It's got some privacy glass at the back, so it's nice. Um, everything else looks really good, actually. Crappy tires, that's probably why they crashed. The wheels pretty much need a refurb, but we'll clean everything up and then we'll take you round and we'll have a proper look once I've cleaned everything up. Just notice, what's this? Oh, this is like a stone chip up above there. So I think, so I think what's happened is a body shop has basically gone around the car and assessed the damage and quoted out for the customer. Uh, it was too much for the insurance, so they just wrote it off. So obviously I can do stuff a lot cheaper, I can do stuff myself. So hopefully we'll make a little bit of profit into this car. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're loud So guys, we'll get the car cleaned up uh, Do that tomorrow now It's a bit late, it's about 8 o'clock So not the right time to get the jet washer out We'll give it a clean up tomorrow And I'll show you around it properly Always going to find stuff <laughs> after the uh after clean so we'll do that tomorrow and i'll get back to you then but for me it'll be tomorrow but for you it'll be an instant oh guys and i've just watched this some of this back and my hair is an absolute mess though it's getting cut next week um but yeah just forgive my hair <laughs> and for anyone who is new here if anyone's new to the channel and the course is brought to the channel go back and check out my videos on this beautiful r32 turbo i fully turboed the car running nearly 500 horsepower uh, on this channel every step of the way has been rebuilt so if the course have brought you here go check out that car and uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe and if we've helped you out at all consider giving us a super thanks to support the channel and help us grow further before i go in i just want to put some water in here and see whether i can see where it drips out Oh, I can hear it running. Yeah. Yeah. We got a gusher. Can't quite see, but gonna need a new radiator <laughs> so that was something on the list that I didn't expect 
I honestly thought all this bottom bit here was, was good to go. Obviously not. Let's just hope that's uh, the least of our worries and it's just that and maybe a condenser and then it can cool up. Uh, it looks like there's a support bar that needs to be replaced as well. So fingers crossed it's just that. And uh, yeah, we'll get the car, yeah, we'll get the car back on the road. So this is the only scanner I've got and uh, you can see it's a VW Audi. I'm trying my luck, but uh, I don't know if it'll work. If anyone's watching my videos and you want me to, to look, I'd look, link and error. If anyone's watching my videos and wants me to test out their card reader, their car car reader uh, device, let me know. <laughs> Hit me up. I'll happily test out a, a reader device for you <laughs> on my channel. It's another day, guys. It's actually about four days since the last video. I took the delivery of the car. It's been pissing down rain. Um, and I've, I haven't been well, so it's around four days since the video, since the videos you've just seen a second ago. I had the car read by my friend who's an AA technician, uh, so we've looked at the codes. There's a Bruce pressure control code, so the intercooler is obviously busted, so it can't regulate the pressure. So I can't drive it, you know, it won't drive on boost or anything like that. The radiator was leaking, as you've seen. Um, so I'm just down the bottom of my road in, into a private road where I'm just going to drive up and down. Uh, to see whether there's any suspension issues or anything like that. So I'm going to do that now and uh, record it for you to see whether there's any issues. So I'm on a private road here, guys. I'm just going to quickly do a first drive. The brakes are definitely, obviously have rust over them, so they're a bit loud. You hear that turbo spool because obviously you've got boost leak. Steering is nice and light, quite a light steering. Let me put my seatbelt on. It stops that moaning, doesn't it? Okay. So let's go back. Definitely something clanking. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's something a bit clanky. Um, I suppose it could be anything really. It could be something on the front end. It could be a coil or something. So I'm gonna leave it for this episode now, guys. Um, I know I said I'll give it a wash and stuff, but it's been pissing down the rain. Um, and I just wanna get the front end off because I need to order parts, but I don't know what the part numbers are. So. Um, so I'm going to drop the video here now guys let me know what you think about the car let me know whether you know you want to see it get rebuilt all that good stuff um, I'm excited by it I hope you are guys too uh, this is just the beginning of the journey and if this is a success guys and you guys like it then you know I'll bring more cars to the channel it'll probably most likely be more German cars than the Vauxhall uh, the only reason I went for this car was because I, I like VXRs and uh, you know I think they're pretty cool so I just wanted to cut my teeth with uh, a car from Copart. Now I know the process and if this is a success, we'll get more cars in and hopefully you guys will like it, I'll enjoy it and also we'll get some cool cars on the channel. That's the plan anyway, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and if I've helped you out at all, consider giving me a super thanks. It'll grow the channel and it'll help me get more stuff onto the channel. Also, the Golf R32, is booked in for its mapping on the 14th of August. It's been driving beautifully. My missus have been driving it to work for a couple of weeks, no issues at all. So fingers crossed, we'll be able to get that mapping session done and get the results we want to. So guys, thanks very much and I'll we'll see you next time. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fit.